Hello guys, here we are in Whitby again with Sister Andrea, she's over there already handing out tracks, Brother Philip, and we're about to preach the gospel, so thank you all for your prayers, because I, I really notice when, when we ask you guys for prayer, and I know that you're praying, so thank you all. I go through your comments, I read like, your prayers and everything. I just haven't got time to get back to everyone as as, be, as I did before, but um, thank you, thank you all for your prayers, and God bless you. Here we go. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Whitby. We have come here to tell you how much God loves you and how simple it is to know you're saved and going to heaven and not going down to hell. The Bible makes it expressly clear that we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God and that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is everlasting, eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The gospel of Jesus Christ is how that Jesus shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of all our sins, according to the scriptures. That he was buried and rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. And if you will confess Jesus as the Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's how simple it is to know you are going to heaven and not going down to hell. That if you will confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's how simple it is. But God resists the proud and he gives more grace to the humble. Be humble enough to say, of, of course I have sinned. The Bible says we all have sinned, and the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. Be humble enough to say, of course I have sinned, and then go to Jesus and believe on him that he was indeed sacrificed on the cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins. All means all, past, present and future. He was buried in a tomb and God raised him to life on the third day. Believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus and you will be saved. But you have a choice. You have a choice where you spend eternity. Because this life is not all there is. There is a heaven and there is a hell. And our decision to accept or reject Jesus Christ and his free gift of everlasting life will determine which one you spend eternity in. It's a matter of heaven and hell. It's a matter of life and death. Believe on the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation for anyone and everyone that believes. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. The hour is extremely late. The night is far spent. The day of Jesus Christ is at hand. Any moment now and the Lord Jesus Christ is going to tear open the heavens and he's going to descend. The Lord Jesus Christ himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ. All those that ever believed on Jesus will be resurrected and then all Christians which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus. Please lay hold of your salvation. Jesus said, unless you change your minds and repent, you'll never see the kingdom of heaven. The only other alternative is hell. Please, Jesus said, unless you change your minds and repent, yet you will all perish. God is not willing that you perish. And God did not send his son Jesus into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Jesus might be saved. Lay hold of your salvation, because you are not guaranteed your next breath. You're not guaranteed to wake up tomorrow, and when you draw your last breath, you will go into eternity. First to the judgment seat of God, and without Jesus Christ to have paid the debt in full for all your sin, you will not be granted access into heaven, but you will find yourself in hell. Please, God isn't asking you to get religious. 
He's only asking that you believe on the name of his only begotten son, Jesus, and his sacrifice for us on the cross. But by God's grace are we saved through our faith in Jesus. And it's not of ourselves. It is the free gift of God, not by our works, lest any man should boast. Please lay hold of your salvation. Be sure of where you are spending eternity. Heaven or hell, the choice is yours. Jesus said, unless you repent, unless you change your mind and believe, you will perish. Please, God isn't asking you to get all religious and going to church will not save you. Only the blood of Jesus Christ will save you. The shed blood of Jesus on the cross. Christ shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of all our sins. He was buried and on the third day he rose again from the dead. And when you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved with everlasting life. You will be sealed with Holy Spirit of promise. And God doesn't go back on his promises. You will be sanctified, set apart as holy for the day of redemption, which is upon us at any moment when the Lord Jesus descends and takes all believers out of this world, up into the heavens, and then the great tribulation will start, when God will pour out his judgments and his wrath upon an unbelieving, unrepenting world, which has turned its back on our Holy Father in heaven. The world, generally speaking, has turned its back on the living God who gave us life, who supplies all our needs, feeds us, clothes us, houses us, gives us cars, to drive in, the Lord God supplies all our needs, and we have turned our backs on the living God. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and unto our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Lay hold of your salvation. God loves you, but he's given you a choice. He's given you free will to either accept or reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting, eternal eternal life through Jesus Christ. Why would anybody reject the free gift of God which is everlasting life through Jesus? Why would anybody say, no, I don't want to go to heaven, I want to go to hell for eternity, out of darkness, where there is weeping and wailing, where there is gnashing of teeth, where the worms never die and the fire never goes out. Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all perish. Well, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus, that whosoever believes on him should not perish in hell, but have everlasting life and granted a place in heaven. Lay hold of your salvation. God loves you. He's not asking you to get religious. He's only asking that you believe on the name of the only begotten Son of God, Jesus, and his sacrifice for you on the cross. Jesus said, if any man is ashamed of me and of my words in this sinful and adulterous generation of him, shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. Why would anybody be ashamed of the Son of God who was beaten so badly he was unrecognizable, who shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of all our sins, who was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day? Believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus and you will be saved. Please don't hesitate any longer because Jesus Christ is coming any moment now and the Lord Jesus Christ is going to descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will be resurrected, the dead in Christ will rise first and then all Christians which are alive and remain are going to be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus and then according to the prophet Isaiah this world will be turned upside down during the great tribulation when this one world leader comes on the world stage and forms a new world order the antichrist and he will cause everyone to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads 666 you won't be able to buy or sell anything unless you have the mark in your right hand or in your forehead but once you take that 
that mark in your right hand or in your forehead, you are sealing your fate and you'll be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. Please change your mind. You won't even have to be here for what's coming upon this world if you will go to Jesus now and lay hold of your salvation. Jesus is coming. Please. God is only asking that we change our minds and repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. You don't have to be here for what is about to take place on this world when God pours out his wrath upon a world that's turned its back on him. Please lay hold of your salvation now and you'll be taken up in the rapture which is about to happen at any moment when Jesus takes all Christians out of this world up into the heavens and then will start the great tribulation where God pours out his wrath and his judgments upon a world that's turned its back on him, upon an unbelieving unrepenting world you don't have to be here for what is about to take place on this world go to Jesus now Jesus has promised he said I will never turn anyone away who comes to me so go to Jesus lay hold of your salvation don't be afraid don't be ashamed to call upon the one who can grant you everlasting life and a place in heaven and save you from going down to hell please the only requirement is that you change your minds from your own belief that you repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ which is how Jesus died on the cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins he was buried and rose again on the third day that's the gospel when you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus you will be saved it doesn't matter what you're doing what you have done go to Jesus for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved be a whosoever, be sure of your eternal destination. This life is just for a moment, but eternity is forever. And your decision to reject or accept the Lord Jesus will determine where you spend eternity. Heaven or hell, the choice is yours. Jesus will not turn any one of you away when you go to him in truth. But he said, unless you repent, unless you change your minds, you will perish. Please, that's why we're here, to tell you the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, that there is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. For there is no other name under heaven given to us by which we can be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man shall see the Father in heaven but through me. Go to Jesus. Please, he's about to come any moment now. Please, Jesus said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. Be it any man. God bless you all, Whitby. We haven't come here to judge you. We haven't come here to condemn you. We've come here to tell you that this is the last call into the kingdom of heaven, into the kingdom of God, before the rapture takes place. The rapture is about to occur when Jesus shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will be resurrected. All those that ever believed on Jesus will be resurrected, and then all believers which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air. Please. Lay hold of your salvation. Be taken up to heaven in the rapture. Don't be left behind for what is about to take place on this world. A war the likes of which this world has never seen is in the making, is in the brewing. Any moment now, the great tribulation is going to start. You don't have to be here for what is about to take place on this world. Lay hold of your salvation now. The only requirement for you to be saved and know you're going to heaven and taken up in the rapture is to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is that Jesus died on the cross. He took the penalty in full for all our sins. 
he was buried and rose again on the third day. And when you believe that truly in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved with everlasting life. You will never lose your salvation. You will be sealed with Holy Spirit of promise. And God doesn't go back on his promises. Therefore, please repent, change your minds, lay hold of your salvation. Don't be ashamed to call upon Jesus. Don't be ashamed to say, come into my life, Lord Jesus. Don't be ashamed to acknowledge your sin condition, because we all have sinned, the Bible says. I have sinned. Brother Philip has sinned. Sister Andrea has sinned. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give everyone, is eternal, everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we can be saved. Jesus, Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life, and no man shall see heaven but through me. The only other alternative is hell. And this is for eternity. This is why it's so important. Please, Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all perish. God is not willing that any of the souls that he made perish and spend eternity in hell. God wants all to be saved and all can be saved no matter who we are, no matter what we have done. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Be a whosoever. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It doesn't matter what you've done. Jesus has promised he will not turn anyone away. No matter what you're doing right now, please go to him. I, he has promised that he will not turn you away. Lay hold of your salvation because you're not guaranteed your next breath. You're not guaranteed to be here tomorrow. When you draw your last breath, you go into eternity. First to the judgment seat of God, God Almighty, and without Jesus Christ to have paid the debt in full for all your sin, you will not be, you will not make it into heaven, but you will find yourself in hell. Please, all God is asking is not yet that you get religious, but that you change your minds, that you repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, the blessed gospel of Jesus Christ, which is that Jesus shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of all our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and rose again according to the scriptures. And when you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. Please lay hold of your salvation. Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all perish. Why wait until you're in hell before you realize how real it is? You don't have to do that. Lay hold of your salvation now. God loves you, but he's giving you choice. He's giving you free will to either accept or reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. It's very shallow-minded to think that this life is all there is. There is a heaven and there is a hell. And our decision to accept or reject Jesus Christ will determine which one you spend eternity in. It's a matter of heaven and hell. It's a matter of life and death. Please lay hold of your salvation. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. No matter what you're doing, no matter what you have done, let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and unto our God, for he will abundantly pardon, he will abundantly receive you, and pardon you. But he said, Jesus said, if any man is ashamed of me, and of my word, in this sinful, adulterous generation of him, also shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he comes in the power of his Father, with the holy angels. Any moment now, and the Lord Jesus Christ is going to tear open the heavens above, and he's going to descend and gather all Christians up to heaven in the rapture. The Lord Jesus shall descend with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God. 
and the dead in Christ will rise first, and then all Christians which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, and we will be taken up to heaven, and then this world is going to be turned upside down. Then this man comes on the world stage, proclaiming himself to be the saviour of the world, proclaiming himself to be the Messiah, but he is the false Messiah, he is the Antichrist, and he will cause everyone, small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads, the mark of the beast, 666. You won't be able to buy or sell anything unless you have that mark in your right hand or in your forehead. But once you take that mark, you will be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. You don't even have to be here for what is about to come on this world when this Antichrist reigns. You will be taken up to heaven if you believe on Jesus, his death, his burial and resurrection and call upon him. You will be taken up in the rapture, out of harm's way, before you see God pour out his judgments on an unbelieving, unrepenting world which has turned its back on the living God. And all that is required for you to know you're going to heaven, save from going down to hell, is to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. That Jesus was indeed sacrificed on that cross because it is written there is no forgiveness of sins without the shedding of blood. So God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, to be a sacrifice on that cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sin. All means all, past, present and future when you believe on him. Believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. Call upon him and you will be saved. That's how simple it is to know you're going to heaven to escape the damnation of hell. God bless you with me. We've come here to tell you how much God loves you. We've come here to tell you how simple it is to be saved. It's not about being religious. It's not about going to church. It's about believing, having faith in the Lord Jesus and his finished work on the cross. Jesus' final words were, it is finished, the debt is paid in full, past, present and future sins when you believe on him, believe that he was indeed crucified on that cross at Calvary. He did indeed rise again from the dead on the third day. And when you believe that and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. But Jesus also said, unless you repent, you will all perish. Unless you become humble like little children and be converted, you will never see the kingdom of heaven. And the only other alternative is hell. Out of darkness where there is weeping and wailing, where there is gnashing of teeth, where the worms never die, where the fire is never quenched. Why wait until you're in hell before you realize how real it is? We have come here to tell you how simple it is to know you're not going down to hell and that you are going to heaven. Lay hold of your salvation. Once you have believed, you cannot lose your salvation. So please be sure of your salvation. It's not about anything you must do apart from believing on what Jesus Christ has already done. That he was indeed sacrificed on the cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins, past, present and future sins. He was buried and rose again on the third day. When you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. It's called the simplicity that is in Jesus Christ. stop this now drink, drink water guys but please pray for everybody that I heard that they'll change their minds and realize what time it is god bless you